previously on the vlog. It's gonna be a little while until my next race now, about three weeks, which is a long time when I'm just building momentum, so that's a bit annoying, but I'm gonna try and put in a good training block. So it's my first day at the track today. I don't know if you guys can hear me at all because it's so windy, but this wind, the natural fan, I am appreciating it 110% because <laughs> I'm so hot, but it's nice. It's nice, 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 nice. And I'm very, very, very tired. This is my third day in Antigua today. First day at the track, like I said, I've just done my warm up, a few plyos, double leg plyos today, and I'm then gonna go and find the gym. Just gonna do a couple of run outs just to move my legs. I'm um, like I said, I'm still feeling really tired, and I'm still kind of acclimatizing to the like time difference and all of that as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I am tired, and it's been pretty full on. Same with my grandmother. Love her to pieces, but boy, can she chat. <laughs> so it's been, yeah, it's been a lot. The Yasko Sports Complex. I believe this is also where the national champs is gonna be. See, I've just got my set up here. I mean, the wind keeps burning everything away. So it's just me here. So I am fully taking the liberty to not have as much clothes on because I'm so hot. Legs are like, lead hopefully <sighs> over the next few days they wake up a bit my face is struggling right now I'm waiting for this white head got bites everywhere even got a bit on my face last night rude this is what i'm driving while i'm here does the job you know does the job good morning guys so i've just arrived at the track for day two of my training yesterday was my first day so i found my way around found the track also found the gym just gonna open the door because ooh, it is slightly cooler today honestly which i'm really grateful for so i think i actually made a, a, the right choice in not running yesterday i'm still feeling quite tired honestly it's really difficult to get my mind into the mindset of training a part of me is just like oh should i just done my season <laughs> because i can't be bothered my achilles is really sore which is really irritating me ever since south of england running on that grass doing all those runs my achilles has been sore i've been able to run so once it's warm and everything it's okay but it is sore and if i take like too long a breaks and stuff it, and it cools down it gets sore again so i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i did get to do my isometrics yesterday well calf isos anyway so i'm planning to come here now do some runs not sure exactly what i'm going to do like i said and then just go to the gym because there there's a shower and also upstairs is really cool so i can do like my achilles routine and circuits at the gym once i finished here but i'm not in the blazing sun oh i just realized i forgot my mat which is a bit annoying but um i only really need it for outside i mean the track is wet so that just means i'm not gonna be sitting on the ground today then yeah evidence that it rained last night i'm not doing the 200 next weekend i'm only gonna do the 100 because to be fair i'm gonna be doing 100 at next weekend and if i do champs at british champs then i'll be doing 100 then as well and i'm still not sure whether i'm doing it. i've got until next week to reply to the invitation to accept it or reject it and at the moment i'm really not sure it will also depend for me personally how i run next week because it's gonna have been two three weeks by the time i run which is a long time for me guys i'm literally bitten everywhere it's so annoying bitten all over but it's absolutely everywhere the one that's hurting the most though is this one my poor finger literally bites all over my leg disgusting nasty man look bumpy and lumpy it's horrible oh man but my achilles is still really sore my right achilles like today is really sore so i can't really do anything and i don't want to get to a place where i start like hobbling i really want to train while i'm here like what's the point of being in a hot country and you can't even make use of the heat anyway i'm walking over to the hurdle i'm gonna do some hurdle mobility i just did some walking drills and then um my achilles routine and some circuits i should just say some core to be specific specific
Good day guys, so it's windy again today. It is Wednesday, no it's not, <laughs> it's Tuesday the 20th of June. It is four days until National, Antigua Nationals. So I'm at the track today, I went to the gym yesterday and today is my first day running or trying to run since last week. So I'm praying I can have a good session today that makes me feel confident, that helps me to feel like I'm ready for the champs on Saturday. Otherwise it's gonna be very difficult for me to run. I could always try again tomorrow if I can't do it today, but I'm praying that today I can have a good session. I've got my timing gate so I can, you know, hopefully have a good session where I can really do some speed work and just feel good and confident like I said so it's really windy it's kind of swirling to be honest but it's an open track so that's what it's going to be like on Saturday I don't know what to say about the competition really until after today's session but yeah prayerfully I can do it so we'll see how it goes my Achilles is feeling a lot better than it was last week but like I said when I got here because this morning it was feeling better got a bite on my arm but when I got here it was feeling very full swollen again with um, inflammation. I've got ice with me today. So I'm gonna be using that throughout the session to hopefully help keep my Achilles cool and keep that inflammation down. So, yeah. So I was trying to put out my tape measure so I can do some cone runs, but it's way too windy. I, my tape measure got all twisted up. I won't be able to do that today then. My cousin just told me that there's meant to be a storm coming but thankfully it's going to pass us so I think that's why it's so windy as well because of the storm Decent session, decent session You know the ones when you don't run for like a little while? Well, comment below if this is you anyway because it definitely happens to me It makes me feel like oh my gosh I've lost all my fitness, oh my gosh I've lost all my speed because I haven't run for a week <laughs> But happy enough with the time that I'm on the clock they're probably windy but at the end of the day yeah still happy enough with the times that I'm seeing my Achilles was so sore at the beginning but I just powered through it I decided to take off my spikes in between runs and I also kept my runs to a minimum so I ended up just doing two 30s so time in the 10 and the 30 then I did 160 and I did two 90s with my drills now from today I'm going to stop doing A skip and B skip for now until my kiddies calms down because that just really hurts my kiddies getting bitten up on my leg so the good thing is that I can feel that it's still springy it's just sore but once it warms up and I had like I said I had ice bottle which is now all water which just helped cool down my kiddies and I taped up my kiddies as well and what else did I do yeah, I also just did one warm-up acceleration whereas I normally do three. And like I said, I made this session very short. Try to make it quality rather than quantity. So bear in mind I have blocks today, so I'm doing it from the from a crouch start. So I think my best time today I got 427 for the 30. I think I saw a 740 something for the 60, that was my best 60, and best 90 today was 1079. So for the fact that I haven't really run for two weeks now. Cause I was gonna say a week, even though I drilled last week, but I didn't actually run last week. But yeah, I haven't done that much. <laughs> I haven't done that much training because the week after South of England, I had to prepare for Antigua because literally I was so busy I hadn't had any time to do so. And then yeah, I've got here and my kids was really sore, so I've had to make the most of it. It's what we have to do sometimes, guys. You have to make the most of what you have. And I think yeah, I'm happy enough with today. So prayerfully on Thursday. I can do some block. I don't have a clue where they are. We're trying to have to find out who I can ask to maybe utilize them on Thursday for my pre-meet. And then I guess that's it. We're gonna go on Saturday. I tried guys, I really tried. I mean, I did get to do some runs today, so praise the Lord. But yeah, my Achilles was so sore warming up. Like it was so, so, so sore, probably until I put like spikes on. And then I get a couple of runs where 
I can bear it and then it just becomes painful again. So I'm gonna have to probably do a really long warm up on um, Saturday. Anyway, next stop, Antigua Champs. Good morning guys. So it is race day today and I'm just about to leave to go to the track. It's 1.15. Meant to be there by 1.30, all athletes, even in my race, is at 4. 30 today so how am i feeling not really the best prep going into this at all by a long stretch however i am looking forward to it and of course as of every race i'm going to put my best into it so let's go and have some fun today there's meant to be a open and ceremony sort of thing so yeah just gonna enjoy the day run as best as i can gonna be an a final and a b final because i'm not an antiguan citizen i will not be in the a final i'll be in a b final so Hopefully I can just get two good ones in. Like I said, enjoy the whole experience. I've really enjoyed my time here, making connections and all of that good stuff. And I've actually got quite nice support coming to support me today. So yeah, it should be a really good day. I'll try and show you guys as much as I can because I am running low on space now <laughs> on my phone. So I'll try and do as much as I can throughout the day. So yeah, let's go and have some fun. <laughs> So you had to have one of these today and also one of these not gonna lie yet <clears throat> so i'm in the car and i see people coming in and they're wearing like their whole tracksuit and i'm making me feel like chima you forgot to bring a tracksuit <laughs> but the reality is is that i get so hot when i'm training and even in the uk if it's a hot day i don't wear tracksuit when i'm warming up i literally wear my vest top so I should be alright because I've been alright training wise all the other time but it's only because you know when you start seeing other people doing something you're like oh <laughs> I forgot I forgot so I think this is a cool up area cool up our God and Father we give you thanks for this day and even as we commence this championship this afternoon we invite your holy presence to be here with us we pray your blessings over everything that will be done and said. We ask, dear God, that you would be with the instruments, that you will be with every athlete this afternoon, that you will be with the officials, and every instrument that will be used would be functional for your honor and for your glory. May your blessings be in the midst of this meet, dear God. And we pray, dear Father, that, Lord, it would be injury-free, that, dear God, you would be with each athlete as they perform this afternoon. We thank you, dear God, for the weather. We pray for your divine covering. And we ask that you continue to abide as we give you praise, honor, and glory this afternoon. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hi guys, so I ran my heat, I ran 12.16, that is absolutely terrible for me, but that just means that I basically didn't run, but I'm very grateful to make it through the first round, my Achilles is in a place where I can run again, so that is a good thing, um, yeah, it was just very, very lethargic, yeah, that's it, really, and I can feel that in my warm-up, I didn't, I didn't feel sharp, I didn't feel snappy at all in my warm-up, so yeah, time says it all basically i felt very slow i felt very sluggish so yeah i want to run faster in the final prayerfully final is at seven it's currently 5 13 yep so i'm just gonna find go over and try and find my cousin thank you to jordane and kids and her mom for coming to watch me today i think my cousin Didi's coming as well so thank you guys i might have a couple of other people here supporting me as well i said they were gonna come but i'll see when i go over or later on because you know black people and timing anyway so yeah it was just very slow <laughs> it's been a good event so far 
nice atmosphere, lively. I love that they pray before everything. They pray before the technical meeting, pray before the meeting starts. And there's like a community feeling in there, obviously, as we're a small island. So I guess all the clubs know each other, everyone knows each other. I mean, that's athletics anyway. But as an outsider, it's very difficult to know where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do. So that could be a little something that could, <laughs> could be approved a little bit. But yeah, for the final, it's going to be A final and B final. A final is for national, B final is for non national. Um, so I'll be in the B final and I will be looking to try and win that, <laughs> basically. That's what I'm going to try and do. And play a few once again, run in the 11 seconds. So that is my aim for the final. Be a bit more snappy, get out much better than I did. I, it's like I was waiting for everyone else in that heat. So get out quicker, keep hammering, keep hammering, keep hammering, all the way through that finish line and hopefully cross that line first. I'm with 11 seconds on the clock and if I can run a season's best, I'll be absolutely happy with that. But 11 seconds, I'll be happy with that. <laughs> anyway, guys. You know our friends and gentlemen, two things who is it going to be? And it's John, but here comes the Laka with the people in speed. It is going to be Lanika Laka. Hi guys, so after all of that I didn't even get to run again, so basically at the final call they just told me that there's no B final for the women, so the men had their B final, so basically like I said A final was for Antigua Nationals and then B finals was for overseas athletes and so apparently I think there was four of us for the B final for the women but then I think someone or some people dropped out so there was only two of us so they didn't want to run a race with two people so they just scrapped it and they never told me I only found out literally at final call so that was really disappointing to be honest obviously because my Achilles was hurting I didn't really get a chance to like yeah the whole thing was not as I really wanted it to be but I'm still glad I got a chance to run it was so nice to be able to run and I would like to do this again and potentially be in better shape <laughs> be in better shape and all of that kind of stuff my cousins and my friends didn't even get to watch me run in the end, so that's very disappointing because they missed my heat. And I was going to run better in the final. I knew I was going to run better because I wasn't firing in the heat. I could feel it in the warm-up. So, I mean, like I said, the time, the time shows that. So I wanted to do the second round, but I didn't get to do it. So that was very disappointing for me. So I'm home now, guys, and I just realised I didn't close out the vlog. So I've taken up my hair. It looked like um, Cleopatra. Coming at you? <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I have still got five more days on Antigua. So now I'm just going to enjoy my holiday. Yes, I am. I've enjoyed my holiday anyway, but I mean, enjoy it like a person that's on holiday and not like an athlete who's on holiday. You get what I mean, yeah? Anyway, so guys, that is my vlog. I ran for the first time in Antigua. The whole thing in terms of training and competition really did not go the way that I would have wanted it to go yeah it was hard man because my Achilles literally have been on fire I'm not even kidding the pain that they've been in waking up in the middle of the night waking up in the morning they feel so swollen even though not physically swollen but that feeling of swollen pain every day icing every day and all that stuff so I'm going to continue to do that because obviously we're still mid-season and I would like to run again I don't think I'm going to do British Champs I've been contemplating I've only got till tomorrow basically I've been dilly-dallying so at this point I'm just not doing it it's money for me to not run fantastic so yeah once again I'm not doing British Champs yeah so that didn't last I decided to take out the fringe We'll see how long my curls last for. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this vlog. Something a little bit different. Thank you once again for following me on my journey. This track and field life that doesn't like me. <laughs> anyway, if you like the vlog, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe and join the tribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.